Hey, it's Matt from YouTube here again to help with your burning questions and theories. This time around Article 13, which not enough creators know about. Let me try to boil it down for you in a few simple questions that you've been asking. All right, first, what is Article 13? It's a part of a proposed copyright legislation in the European Union created with the intent to better protect creativity. It seeks to find effective ways for copyright holders to protect their content online. We at YouTube support Article 13's goals and its aim to help creators and artists succeed. However, the current proposal of Article 13 written by the European Parliament will create large unintended consequences. It threatens hundreds of thousands of creators, artists, and others employed in the creative economy. So why should you care? As currently written by the European Parliament, Article 13 could mean that YouTube is forced to block millions of existing and new videos in the EU. It could drastically limit the content that you can upload to YouTube in Europe. This would be especially hard for creators and artists since many types of videos could be blocked. Those include educational videos, lots of official music videos, fan music covers, and mashups, parodies, and more. So what would happen with Article 13? The proposed version would eliminate our existing notice and takedown system. This would make platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, Dailymotion, Reddit, and Snapchat liable at the moment of upload for any copyright infringement in uploads from users, creators, and artists. Platforms including YouTube would be forced to block the majority of uploads given the uncertainty and complexity of copyright ownership. So what does this mean for me as a YouTube creator or artist in the European Union? If you're in any of the 28 member states of the EU, YouTube and other platforms may have no choice but to block your existing videos and prevent you from uploading new ones in the European Union. Unless you can prove that you own everything in your videos, including visuals and sounds. All right, so what does this mean for me as a YouTube creator or artist not in the European Union? YouTube and other platforms will likely block your videos, including existing ones, to users in the European Union if there's partial or disputed copyright information. Is Article 13 approved yet? Back on September 12th, the European Parliament voted to move forward with Article 13. However, it's not yet a law. The language is being drafted and revised between representatives from three key groups, the European Commission, the European Parliament, and the European Council. The language could be finalized by the end of the year, and EU member states may have up to two years to make the directive into national law. What can I do to help? It's important that policymakers hear and see that real people could be negatively impacted if Article 13 goes into effect, as written by the Parliament. Creators like Phil DeFranco, LaFloyd, and others are already speaking up. Many individuals, companies, and groups are also speaking out. These include Sir Tim Berners-Lee, the guy who invented the World Wide Web, Reddit, Patreon, WordPress, and Medium. It also includes the European Digital Rights Group and the Internet Archive. That's why we need you and your fans to make your voice heard now by making a video about Article 13, by tweeting about it with the hashtag Save Your Internet, and joining the movement at youtube.com slash save your internet. Please be sure to go to youtube.com slash save your internet for more information. Thanks for your time.